Okay, so now we look to install and run BTC Pay Server. Um, and we're gonna follow a tutorial on this website called Freedom Node. Um, so it's Freedom Node uh, BTC Pay Server. And it is this tutorial here. Okay, we'll do the what's known as the manual install. Um, and so we'll go through and install some dependencies first. So let's navigate over to our uh, downloads directory. And let's get the uh, Microsoft packages that we need. So let's download this. And download. And okay, uh, we will then update and install some more packages. And we will update. What this has done is added these Microsoft um, packages here. Uh, so we can now download a, uh, a piece of software called uh, the .NET framework. So we'll download and install that. Okay, so that is successfully now installed. Um, the next thing that we'll need to do is install the uh, NB Explorer, which is like the back end to BTC Pay Server. Now, I'm not going to put this into the source um, folder as it suggests here. I'm just going to directly clone this into my home directory. So, um, and I'm in my home directory now, and I'm going to git clone this uh, repository here. We will then CD into that. And what we're gonna do is uh, run this command here. So, paste. Okay, so that looks uh, build succeeded, so that's fine. Um, the next thing that we'll do is create a data folder. Now, this is not to be mixed up with the actual um, GitHub repository folder. It's a, it, it, it's a dot file. So we're gonna create this dot file um, here. And so now uh, we will see a dot NB Explorer. Um, so we'll CD into that as well as the main um, folder that's also been created. So dot NB Explorer and in there is a, a folder called main and we will CD into main. Okay, it's an empty folder. What we'll do, we will create a file called settings.config. So that's what that will do there. And in here, uh, we need to uh, put these three lines in. So <clears throat> we nano the settings.config file and we will copy and paste this through. Now, this will ask you for your uh, username and password for your Bitcoin D instance. Um, we established that that is Bitcoin and Bitcoin for us, okay? So that looks good. Uh, we'll control uh, X that, save it and enter. Um, now make sure you use your uh, RPC login credentials and you can find them here, okay? Now what we'll do is we will see if this actually works. Now there is a little bit of a typo there. That should be a 3.1. Uh, and remember that source uh, is, that directory is not the directory. We want to go directly into the NB Explorer. So let's copy this and edit it uh, to our uh, requirements. So we did not put source and we are using .NET 3.1. So let's give this a crack and see what happens here. Okay, so it looks like uh, the RPC uh, connection is successful. So that's great. 
Um, and so that's to test if everything works and it looks like it does. So that's fantastic. Um, and now what we'll do is we will set up a config file um, or rather a service file um, for this to start up in the background on boot. So let's control C out of that. That'll shut down. And we will navigate over to um, CD ETC system D system. And this is where all of our service files are kept. So we'll keep them in there despite um, uh, the tutorial saying otherwise. Um, and yep, so that looks good. Um, and we will W get this, uh, this NBX explorer.service from um, a repository of the creator of this, uh, this tutorial. So let's uh, sudo w get that. And let's nano NB Explorer. Okay. So we need to edit some things here. Um, so the first thing that we'll need to edit is uh, where exactly this is. So this is actually in home Catan NB Explorer. And we wanted 3.1. And we want to change that to uh, Catan there to make to point it to the settings.config the user is me the group is me okay control x y and enter and we will now enable this um oh permission denied great okay because i didn't put sudo in front of it so let's uh nano that again and re edit okay that looks good draw x y and enter and sudo systemctl enable nb explorer sudo systemctl start nb explorer and we can look at the status of that and looking like it has started, it's active and it's looking pretty good. And it says here um, uh, that it's ready. Fantastic, so that's good. Um, now what we need to do is install a, um, a database. Um, so we will do that. So let's copy this and um, go to our home directory and we will paste that through. Okay, so that has now installed. We'll create a user um, called Postgres. Um, so now you will see that your username is that um, rather than your actual username. And we're gonna create a database here. So let's do that. Um, now here is where you would, uh, you know, put in uh, the details here. Uh, enter the name of the role to add. Uh, I am just going to put um, maybe B uh, BTC pay server and the password I'm going to put in as BTC pay server, uh, BTC pay server. Shall the new role be assigned a super user? No, because that's what's here. Sh uh, can you create new databases? Yes. And create more new roles? No. Okay. Now what we need to do is create a new database. So this will be created here, but we used the username instead of Satoshi. <laughs> we probably should have used something else, but uh, there it is there. So we've created a new database called BTC pay server as the login BTC pay server. And we will, uh, if you see no errors, exit the shell. Okay, exit. Okay, fantastic. Now we need to install BTC pay server. So we will git clone this repository to our home directory. Uh, 
uh, we will navigate over to our BTC pay server directory. So what we want to do after that is um, build.sh. So see what happens. Okay, so it says here build succeeded. Fantastic. Um, we will now create a .btc pay server folder as well. So let's uh, do that in our home directory. So there's now a um, .btc pay server folder as well as a main. And we also need to edit the config settings here. So or create them. Um, let's actually just CD into there first and create this file okay um, so nano settings.config blank file and we need to put in these uh, parameters here so and we'll we should fill that out now we're not going to install lightning just as of yet um, so what we'll do is uh, we will remove this entire line that's not uh, required so we won't fill that one out. So let's, um, to delete an entire line in Nano is control K. Now the user ID uh, that we said was um, BTC pay server. The password was also BTC pay server. Okay. And the database was also BDC pay server. Okay, so that's good. Um, we'll control X, save and uh, exit that. So what I would suggest is going into our uh, CD BTC pay server folder. And we run dot sh that. Okay, so it's picked up the configuration file there. Um, so that's really good. And it looks like everything has now sort of connected through and it's looking pretty good. Now what we want to do is make sure that uh, this actually works. So let's have a look here. Um, 127.0.0.1 colon 23001 is the port uh, that we've set this up to run your BTC pay server instance on. And so there it is now. So you can create an account now um, and, and put in your email um, and password and confirm a password. Uh, please make sure to re recall that password. I'll, I'll do that in just a second. Um, now I'm going to shut this, uh, this down um, because we're going to now set this thing up on boot. So let's do that. Um, now you should no longer see that. So yep, that, that's what I expect. Going back to the uh, tutorial, let's go into uh, and download this uh, particular service file. So um, it's cd etc systemd system and we will sudo wget that file there. Oh, what's happened there? I've done it twice. So that one there. Okay, let's edit that. So nan uh, mm -mm, sudo nano btc pay server dot service. And let's edit as required. So this part here will be that. And the user will be this. And the group will also be that. Uh, that looks pretty good. So control X, Y, and enter. sudo systemctl enable btc pay server dot service. And sudo systemctl start btc pay server. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And let's have a look at the status. Looks pretty good. Looking pretty good. And so now I should expect to see that back up again. Fantastic. You can also potentially access this at 192.168.23001. Uh, so anyone on the, um, on the network can now access uh, this BTC pay server instance. Okay.
So that is now installed. Let's go ahead and create an account. Um, I'm just going to create a hello at hello.com and I'm going to put a password of hello. Hello, uh, must be six characters. Okay, hello123 and hello123. Uh, let's create an account. Okay, so now you have a BTC Pay server um, that you can sort of uh, utilize and uh, use within your network. The critical thing here is to expose this out to the rest of the world so that other people can actually pay you. Um, I have done a video on how to do that um, and it is it has its positives and negatives, um, but I think that it, it produces um, an ability to ensure that you are secure, but also uh, that you can expose this pay server out to the world. Now, just a note on how to upgrade your BTC pay server instance. Uh, what you would do is you would um, sudo systemctl stop btc pay server dot service. You will cd into BTC pay, the BTC pay server folder. You would go git pull origin master to get the latest code from the developers. And you would then build dot sh. And once that is done, you can start the service back up again. Pseudo system CTL start BTC pay server. And that should um, make sure that your BTC pay server is now up and upload updated to the latest version. So um, you can check that once you've logged in. So hello at hello and uh, hello one, two, three. And you can check the version here of the BTC pay server that you are running. So that should um, be the most recent uh, up-to-date version of BTC pay server. You can do that periodically. Um, you can follow uh, the BTC pay server Twitter. Um, they usually um, will announce uh, upgrades to the latest versions of BTC pay server. So that is how you would manage and upgrade your, um, your instance. Thanks for watching and if you would like to support the work that I am doing, head on over to our website at ministryofnodes.com.au and click on the support button. We also have paid video tutorials so feel free to check out our store for that. On our web store you can find a booklet that contains the commands to the entire series so feel free to check that out as well. And finally, we also offer private consulting sessions where we can discuss Bitcoin related matters. Feel free to book in a session on our calendar. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.